But we begin here at 6 o'clock with more on this latest storm system urgent surging in Kern County, causing chaos on our passes and leaving more than 1,000 people without power at this hour. And it could get even worse as we head into the weekend. We want to go live now to 17's Michaela Armstrong at the Kern River Canyon to tell us more. And how's it looking out there now, Michaela? Good evening, Tammy. It is definitely cold out here. It is definitely got some wind going on here. And we are also experiencing some rain as well. This weather is not letting up out here, and this is causing major problems for Kern County residents. There has been multiple road closures throughout the day, including the Grapevine, Highway 178, and Highway 58, giving Kern County drivers fewer options if they want to travel. The storm is also affecting power, and according to PG&E, over 1,500 homes and businesses have lost their power already, and more could if conditions get worse. To help, PG&E is making sure more personnel are out and preparing for what is to come. What we're hoping, obviously, is that it, in some ways the forecast is wrong and that it's not going to be as severe as, as it possibly could be. Uh, but, you know, we're going to take each outage in stride as it, as it happens. But our field force especially is very experienced in this, uh, and they're going to get out there and do the work. Boyles encourages all to make sure your car fuel tank is filled, your electronics are fully charged, and to make sure you have food and water. And you can extend the life of that food with frozen water bottles just in case your power does go out during the storm. Now you can find more tips at our website at KGT.com. I'm Michaela Armstrong and I'm going to send it back to you in studio.